basically no glow from Fisher 8. No glow. Interesting. These cracks have closed up a little bit and leveled off. There's not such you know, elevation change. They've sunk down and closed a little bit. This one seems to have opened a little bit more. And these cracks are definitely hot. You can see the steam. And that right there, right behind that camper shell, is Fisher 10. So there's definitely steam coming out of these cracks. It's pretty warm. Definitely warm. But hey, the lava stops, this area can get back to normal. Then we'll check out some sulfur. Yeah, that's the tail end of Fisher 10 right here. There's a lot of heat coming out of here. Look at all that sulfur. A lot of sulfur. Big sulfur build up right there. Looks like Fisher 8 is on its way out. Definitely not as active as it was even a few days ago. Now, we're gonna see some volcanic gases for about a month after Fisher 8 stops. That's typically how it goes. So we gotta still carry our gas masks and be careful because the lava could pop up, uprift, and create more problems, a whole new set of problems. So you know we're not necessarily out of the woods yet and I'm just thankful that I can kind of get back to some kind of normal life I know there's been so much destruction that normal life here is going to be hard to you know bring back <laughs> with uh, all the roads I mean a lot of the coastal roads have been just covered in lava and we're talking like 30 to 60 feet of lava so it's going to be really hard to repair those roads and I don't even know how long that's going to take. 
Now at the time of this filming, Pohiki is still, as far as I know, Pohiki is still there. But there is lots of lava in the channel. It's just crusted over, you can't see it. It's in tubes and stuff. And, and I could see the glow by the ocean entry from here. So I know there's activity down by the ocean entry and there's lava going out and, and hitting the ocean. So this river is still probably got plenty of lava in it. And my question is, when it stops, are, are the government, you know, is the government going to let us uh, walk down there and hang out and chill? <laughs> There's so many holes in the ground, cracks, and the Pele's hair. So that's going to be difficult. You're going to have to wear a gas mask. Everywhere you step is it's like a fiberglass. Now, hopefully it doesn't rain as much because the SO2 coming from Fisher 8 was seeding the clouds and it was making it rain a lot. A lot of acid rain. There's a lot of plant die off. So that's another thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have to worry about wildfires. Yeah, that could be a danger. There's, there's a lot of dead plants down there.